crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestdummies.com and today we're gonna go over the metallic accents watercolor paints from Prima Marketing. Now I got these at Paper Source. I know that they're available in different big box stores and online, but they're a sparkly watercolor paint. And so I wanted to share them with you. As you can see, I've already cracked mine open and they are looking a little well loved. By the way, the set also comes with a paintbrush, which I think I've already lost because I have cats that steal things. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you the colors, the swatches, and then we're gonna do a little demo. So okay, in this set, you have 12 colors, and I'm gonna pop out the pan so you can see it. Again, I have already been using these, so they were a little more filled when we started, um, but I just wanna show you the depth of the pan. <laughs> So you can see approximately how deep it is and then how filled it was. I think I haven't used this one quite as much. This is like this pretty lemon yellow color. Um, I don't know if they're refillable, to be perfectly honest, um, but for the price point of about $16, um, retail, this is a very economical set, and as you can see, you get 12. Now, this is the kind of um, watercolor paint that it needs a little bit of water to activate. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, I spray them with um, just water and a mister. And we're gonna start off with a piece of watercolor paper, and I'm gonna swatch them out for you. First, a little bit on some dry watercolor paper, just so you know, and I'm gonna get my brush a little bit wet. Okay, just so you can see how they go on that dry paper, like so. Do a little bit of rinsing. So because they're shimmery, they're gonna be a little bit more translucent and transparent, and um, they do have quite a bit of shimmer, which I really, really, really love. I'm just not gonna do all of them for you because we'll go over the swatches at the end, um, but I just wanted you to see this here. And then now I'm gonna add a little bit of water so you can watch it move and flow. Here we go, The this is just regular cardstock. This is not watercolor cardstock because I know a lot of us actually do work on cards and uh, we may not be using watercolor paper all the time and I wanna show you that this is super duper metallic-y. So these are all the colors in the set and you can see that the only thing that's a little weird is the purple. Um, it is more of a lavender, it's not like a deep purple. Now again, these are kind of a pastel color palette but I wanna show you just by bending the paper, look at the shine that comes up. Just like a couple of coats on traditional paper. I think they are really impressive and sparkly and metallic-y. Now, if you really wanna have your eyes bug out of the head, this is where you guys go, ooh, ah, because the way they show up on black paper is amazing. So while these are really kind of a value kit, um, there is a large metallic and pigment load in them. As you can see by the brush strokes, I did apply it to dry paper, and I think it's absolutely magnificent. So here, actually, the purple looks a little more bluey purple, whereas on the white paper, it looks like a little bit more of a lavendery with a purple thing. So this is like an um, what they call an interference color. By the way, pardon the uh, manicure. I'm a painter, and I have painty hands today. Um, but this is amazing, and this is not even like good cardstock. This is more like what do they call that, like construction paper black, and yet you still get these incredible sparkly effects. It's just really, really good. I wanted to show you a few more kind of raw samples of the paint on the paper. This is just a little bit of um, watercolor paper um, that is white, and you can see it does warp a little bit if you're using water, unless you tape it down. It, this doesn't bother me because I press it in a book afterwards, but you can see you do get a nice sparkly and blendy of colors. And here, again, I used watercolor paper, but I used the emboss resist technique, and you can barely see the embossing here, but what you get are these beautiful puddles and pools. I'm gonna come a little closer. 
with the metallic paint. And look at, again, what a great shimmer and shine. I just think it's really, really pretty and really impactful. Now, just to take a peek, I always think it's a good idea. This has been drying for a while. We're gonna add a little bit more water to it and see how much um, movement and bleed out you get. And yes, like a true watercolor, if you reactivate it, it is going to move around. So this is gonna be good for you if you like to um, you know, continue to work a piece over time. It may not be your favorite thing to do though if, if you like to do a lot of layering. You'd wanna seal this with a little bit of uh, like a Krylon triple thick or a spray sealer so that really it locks it down. Now, I wanted to share this piece with you because I actually mixed paints on this watercolor paper. And I used some of the Gonzai Tombi, which is more like a gouache watercolor, which gives me all of these vibrant colors. But if you can see the metallics on here, all of the metallics were done with the Prima Marketing Metallic Accents. And what's funny is that um, you know, the Gonzai have a tendency to be a little pricier and the Prima ones are a little less expensive, but yet I feel like they played really nicely together. So here where they blended together to make some different colors I like, but it's almost like using a gilding paste. If you use it with a low concentration of water, it really almost feels like foiling on top. So it's a great way of kind of getting that really bold look um, for not a lot of money. All right, I'm gonna leave you with just a few more samples that I made. Make sure you check the card section to see uh, a tutorial on that. And in sum, I hope you enjoyed this review and demo. I love playing with them and I think they would be a great addition to your art and craft supply box. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I always appreciate hearing from you. Thanks again and have a crafty day.